And what's going on everyone? I'm doing a new product review. This is of the Football Power Cube. I know nothing about this. Um, 2021 MJ Holding Company. I think I remember somebody talking about MJ Holding. Like it's a distributor. So I guess they're in the game of doing their own cards now. So each cube contains one autographed or game used card, four factory sealed packs, and 60 assorted cards. So I guess it's some kind of mystery pack of sorts. This is going to be difficult to get into, I can already tell. But it comes with a little cube, hence the name. That you can store your cards in. I have a bunch of these cubes for um, different sizes and that I put sets in and whatnot, so I dig it. Let's see how this opens. Well, there is our hit right on the top. And it's Dwayne Bow. Definitely a repack, you can tell. And for some odd reason, they don't provide sleeves at all. And this is 46 of 79. So it's a couple of dollar jersey, I'm sure. Nice Trevor Lawrence, all rookie team. Erlacher. So Julian Edelman. Uh, silver Prism, and a Carl Joseph Silver Prism, rookie. <laughs> Panini Gridiron points. I guess that counts as a card. Laquan Treadwell, Miles Jack, rookie. Jalen Smith. Josh Dotson. Kenzie Alexander. Juju Smith-Schuster. That's probably the only good rookie so far. Greg Ward Jr. isn't bad. James Conner. Mike Williams. Tony Dorsett. Jared Goff. Don Maynard. Ezekiel Elliott. Hmm. I didn't know they were still making these. Wizards of the Coast is doing them. So it's the NFL showdown. Oh, okay, yeah, so it was 2003 that they last made them. I knew it was a long time ago. Another showdown card. Interesting mix for sure here. Got a Julio Jones extra point, but not numbered. So decent, I can't even remember what the price was on this, but decent stuff out of there. The hit is doo-doo, but that's okay. These are on the outside. So Zach Wilson, nice one, and a Trey Sermon. Goes along with that Trevor Lawrence. Now it looks like the packs are going to be your low series and premier draft in 2021. Hopefully these have hits in them. I can imagine they wouldn't be if it was like an open box and they get the autographs and then throw in the ones that aren't autographed. Actually, I'm pretty sure that they're not autographed because the autographs come in a separate thing altogether. So yeah, none of these will be autographed. Okay. Don't know him. Don't know him. Never heard of him. That's going to be a lot of these players here. Uh, Trey Lance. He's decent. So, so far out of the packs, Trey Lance is definitely the best card. It's 2 2. Sean White. 
and let's get out of those. So this might be our only chance at an autograph. If that even is possible, which I don't think it is. Amir Smith Marset. There's two two. Richie Grant Orange. Probably not numbered. Yeah. I would say avoid these at all cost. So if you see the power cube, it is a repack, but um, wow, that would probably be the junkiest stuff I've pulled out of a repack in a very long time. And I think for the cost, which I want to say that the cost was 29, that it's not even close to worth it. So yeah, avoid, avoid this like the plague. Um, but, you know, I end up buying these things so that you don't have to. And, uh, yeah, save yourself the trouble. Do not get this product. All right, guys. Thanks for checking it out. I will catch you in the next video. Take care.